Hello and welcome. So in this video, we will be training the state of the art detect one two algorithm on a custom data set which I have prepared from scratch. Okay. So in the previous tutorial, we studied and implemented uh, what is detect one two and some of the most advanced computer vision techniques using the detect one two library. We implemented uh, four uh, advanced computer vision tasks that is object detection, uh, key points detection and the uh, sem uh, semantic segmentation and the uh, panoptic segmentation which is a combination of both uh, semantic segmentation and instance segmentation okay so in this tutorial we will going to uh, train the detector on two on custom data set okay so let's begin so the most crucial part on training the uh, detector on two algorithm on a custom data set is to prepare the custom data set on your own all right so for a demo purpose, I have collected uh, some of the images of skin disease, which is known as uh, benign and malignant. So this is what is uh, looks like. So uh, it has an image and is corresponding uh, annotation file, which is a JSON format file. Okay. So this is I have prepared uh, on my own from scratch using a software called Label Me. Okay. I will go through the process step by step. Okay. So let's suppose you have a folder in which all of your images are present okay for example i have this show folder in which i have uh, just imagine we have many uh, benign uh, images and many malignant images just for an example and for demo purpose i have showed only two images all right so what we will do is just collect the data okay which i will provide the link in the description of my prepared data so to prepare your data from scratch you will need to download the images of your favorite uh, classes and then what you need to do is download a software or pip install a software which is known as label me okay so just go to your terminal and just type uh, the command pip install label me and hit enter as i've already uh, installed the library so so it will show me a requirement already satisfied all right cool so then what you need to do is clear the terminal and then run uh, label me that's it then it will uh, open the software and then you can edit cool so this is the software you will get uh, this will help you to uh, draw the an annotations on the uh, image right so open the directory so my directory is e and data and then show okay just select the show directory and select folder okay so it will uh, open all the images you have for in your case, you will have many images, right? Uh, belonging to particular categories according to you, right? So I, right now I have only two categories that is benign and malignant. Okay. So what we will do next is we will go to the uh, create polygons icon. Okay. And then we will create a polygon, right? Just covering all this, uh, all the boundaries. So just create a polygon as you would and just try to be precise. Okay. But for the sake of demo, I'll be doing it uh, fast. Okay, just enter the label name and make sure you keep a note on this. Okay, because you will need this later when you are going to train the uh, detect on to on this data set. Right, all right. Just press OK, and now don't forget to save. Okay, just click on save, and on in the same directory. All right, save, cool. And then the next image. This is the uh, malignant. Uh, skin disease then create polygon and similarly we will draw a polygon covering all the boundaries of the infected area and this is malignant okay just make sure guys this is really important okay just press save save now what you will have uh, an image and its corresponding uh, json format annotations all right cool so let's open it with a uh, notepad and see what it looks like. So you can see the label corresponds to benign. Okay. And these points are the polygon points, the X, this is the X coordinate. This is the Y coordinate. All right. For every point that we have uh, at, uh, joined Cool. This is the image path and this is the image data. The, uh, this is the base 64, I guess, format of an image. Okay. So, yeah. And yes, also note this that the image height and image width of each and every image should be same all right otherwise it will throw an error while training cool so i have already noted and make sure that 
the image height and image width are same okay so in my case i have 224 and 224 height and width cool so this is just for an example so this is what uh, it will look like when you will finish the labeling your data all right i have train here i have many images i have taken this less because this is a demo tutorial and you can download your data and label it yourself if you want to this is my test i have eight images belonging to benign category and eight images belonging to malignant category cool okay now just to increase the data i'll just uh, cut and paste this in my uh, train okay cool or test and anywhere you can cool this refreshes all right so now we have uh, the, uh, the custom data is ready for training purpose okay now you can close this and you can exit the terminal if you like now let's get back to the uh, collab notebook cool so the first step was preparing the data that was a crucial step all right now we have already done it and i've already uh, uploaded the data on my google drive cool as you can see drive in my drive in my uh, data set here is data sets and here i have skin detectron to data okay data and i have here train and test i don't need the show as i already copied images in, in the in the train directory so we only need the test test and train okay so make sure you have the same format the same hierarchy okay let's copy this part and we will use that later so next is to install the detectron to own collab now uh, just make sure you install the torch version 1.8 because point uh, 1.9 is not compatible with detectron 2 yet here right? all right just hit uh, shift enter and this will uh, install det detectron 2 on your collab session okay so after installing the detectron uh, after installing the to uh, torch 1.8 version we will install the detectron 2 okay and also after installing it will ask you to restart the runtime okay so please do it in order to make things work so next step is to just uh, import the libraries, the necessary libraries, and make sure uh, the dots is of version 1.8. All right. Now, if we want to use a custom data, so we will need to reuse the Detectron 2's uh, data loaders, and for that we will need two step. Okay. First is to we will need to register our data. All right. Which will uh, which means that we will tell Detectron 2 how to obtain our data set. Okay. And the next step is to uh, register the metadata for our data set. Okay. So but before that let's just import the necessary uh, libraries required for that so i'll press uh, shift uh, shift enter to execute this cell next this function uh, is a utility function which is provided by the detectron 2 library which basically converts uh, our images directory to the required data format which is required by the detectron 2 library while training okay so just make sure uh, you you set the height and width according to your convenience according to your images okay in my case i have downloaded uh, and make sure that all the images are of same height and width so just edit it at your own convenience okay okay so and the next step is to make sure that you allow the segmentation to be of poly okay poly means uh, the, the polygons that we have drawn on the images right so this makes sure that we are going to do segmentation or a custom data set cool now this basically returns us a, a, a dictionary okay cool now we had two classes now uh, at, uh i told you earlier that to make sure of your labels right and also to make sure of your uh, casing all right i had b small and m small all right just don't make it capital yeah don't mess it up cool so and the data part as i showed you earlier was this now this actually uh creates a metadata for our uh, train and test set cool so this basically tells us that how many categories and how many uh, images are there in our both the folders that is train and test cool i'll run this cell and let's go to the next point the next cell so next comes the uh, most interesting part that is the training the detectron 2 instance segmentation model okay so from the uh, detectron 2 we will import the model zoo which actually provides us with the configuration file of uh, many uh, segmentation uh, models already the pre-trained segmentation models especially the, as you can see here we can get the configuration file of the instance segmentation pre-trained model okay the, which is the mass rcnm rcnm cool and the next is the uh, engine from which we use the default trainer and the default predictor this basically is a trainer and utility function and this is a predictor utility function cool okay 
visualizer helps us to visualize the results on our test set. These are some configuration that I have uh, implemented from the Detectron 2 uh, official page. Now, just to make sure, whenever you uh, train on your own custom data set, just make sure you uh, edit this as per your own uh, categories. All right. Right now, I have two categories, right? Benign and uh, malignant. So I have two. Okay. Just edit it yourself for your own custom data set if you're using another data set of your own tool. So, next step is to actually uh, resume or load the parameters of the instance segmentation pre trained model. Okay. Cool. So this actually creates an instance of the data uh, default trainer with your with all of this uh, configuration. Okay, I'll run this cell. So this is a big output you get after running the default trainer. This is just the uh, pre-trained mass RCNN segmentation model that we are going to fine tune it on our own custom data set. Next, we will actually train the detectron to finally on our custom data set. Okay, so this is this one line will just train our neural network cool okay trainer dot train hitting the enter shift enter so it has starts training so after training a detectron to model on approximately 1000 iterations you you can also uh, experiment it on your own and try to change the iterations okay just make it 2000 or 2500 according to your need it was just for a demo i have to show you guys right okay so total time uh, training time it took around eight minutes approximately nine minutes okay so let's just see the results that what we get after training this on custom data set on only thousand iterations okay which is really less and we also had really less data so let's see the performance so for inferencing we will define a model weights path and this will actually create a predictor using the default predictor as i told you earlier all right and this is just the uh test data dictionary which, are, which the utility function has created for us so it basically consists of seven images because we have i think we have uh, 18 images right a eight images in our test folder all right and for each of the uh, image it contains four keys all right file name height width and annotations all right height height is 224 with this 224 file name will be whatever the file name is in the folder and annotations corresponds to the uh, segmentation mask, the boundary box, okay, the polygon coordinates. All right. Now this function actually uh, shows the predicted outputs on the test images. Okay, so let's just run this and see what we get. Okay, so this is what we have. Actually, it predicted pretty great, right? Benign 97%, and just see the uh, instance segmentation it has done, right? It is so perfect. And this is the malignant. See, see the segmentation guys it's so awesome right it's great and it also detects the boundary boxes with the instant segmentation mask is it isn't it great and the next is okay so i think it has detected both malignant and benign but it is pretty much confident about it right 60 percent and 56 percent yeah that's great so yeah this is all for this tutorial and this is how you train detector on on custom data set okay so you can select your own data set or download mine uh, i will provide the link in the description to this data set okay so yeah this was all for this tutorial and i hope you liked it